Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting 140. We're on our way to the end of 2017. Looking forward to getting to next year. As always, these meetings are recorded. For those of you that aren't able to be with us right here, right now, let's look at what we're going to talk about today. Uh, we'll do triage, not many things to talk about, which is always kind of nice. And then we'll talk about the release of the security release. Um, and, well, that's pretty self-explanatory as well. And as always, we'll have questions, comments for things that people want to talk about at the end. So let's go ahead and get this going. On to triage. Um, refresh this, because Bob said one came back. Um, all right, so we're at the bottom. Um, someone provided more details on this thing not happening, and they're saying it's happening with the latest Visual Studio extension, right? Uh, yeah. Still haven't gotten which information of an exact version of Wix. Right. But I'm going to give up that pursuit. Wix 3.11. All right, so something is going wrong <laughs> that we don't see normally. Okay. Um... Well, the second person is using professional and not community, so if that was a hope. Yeah, I don't think there's many difference between them now. I don't think so either. Unable to cast transparent proxy type to that. I don't know what that means. It's an exception. There, there's literally a cast. The one instance of that thing in use, um, it's it's... It's an exception coming from the CLR. All right, toss it in four, and we'll take a look at it before four closes. And that'll just remind me to look at it. And Sounds we'll good. We, something pops up for it. Uh, I lost my mouse cursor. Wix installer silent mode not working. Oh, he just found another issue that may be duplicate. It is. It is? All right. Yep. Cool. All right. With your confidence, I'm happy to add a duplicate tag and move on. Okay. Doc bug. Set property incorrectly is document or implemented. Uh, is not, oh, the XSD is not marked as required. The value on set property is not required. Okay. So, yeah, it probably should be marked required. We can toss it in, what, four? I don't know. We're going to do these kind of things in three. 14? No. All right. So, 4 -oh. Cool. See. Jacob, you want me to assign it to you? All right. All right. Done. Hold off on implementing that a little bit while we figure out where that new stuff is going to end up. So, <laughs> I have not figured out how to generate the doc yet in the new world. Um, integrate Wix installer build into build process. And you said that there's a doc bug in here? Um, I Yeah, so, sorry, I'm behind one. Um, it's that uh, daily builds page. Okay. Yep. It needs to be updated to handle the, the MS Build 15. Oh, crap. we changed the way that you import things, and now, yes. Okay. Cool. Um, you can get that to me. I should look at that. And uh, what is, I guess, that doc. Uh, are we going to fix that in three? Fix it in four? It's, uh, oh, wait, that's, oh, it's in the manual. Ugh. Um, it's pro it probably should have been fixed in 3.11. We introduced so, that bug in 3.11, so we have to fix it 3.14. Uh, it's the only place it would be fixed. Yeah, I think we should fix it. All right, you can give it to me. Put it in 314, and I will poke at the documentation with a stick. It's in the chum and gets published to the website. Yeah, all right. Just give it 314, and we'll take care of it. Um, all right. 
it was broken in 311 and just one of those doc pages we missed that should have caught. All right, looking forward. Uh, yay. Um, security release. The build has been out for two weeks now? Three weeks now? Kind of lost track. Um, and I have not seen any negative feedback on it. Um, we've seen some positive feedback, but nothing, no issues to date at this point. So does that mean we release it now or when? I guess is kind of my question. I'm looking for opinions from other people because I don't have strong opinions at this point. Sean? <laughs> Just putting him on the spot. <laughs> I don't really have an opinion either. <laughs> Should we hold it for a holiday, or do we just call it good? Okay. John's like, do it. He's our usual plus one guy coming out. Bob, you have any opinions? Um, you, if I, if I remember correctly, was like, yeah, let's just release it last week or two weeks ago. So, yes, my opinions changed a little because it was two weeks ago. It's now the middle of December. Um, I'm kind of leaning toward maybe we ship it on the first. No, I don't. I, I don't know what kind of mental state I'll be in on <laughs> the first, the day after New Year's Eve, as it's sometimes called. Um, no, it's just I, I don't know that there's there's no rush to do this, right? I mean, the builds are out there; they're not going to change. Nope. So therefore. If anyone is affected by this, they have a build. They have the build that they can get. It's just, you know, isn't labeled and whatnot. Um, Most of this is paperwork for me to finish, like moving the bits around and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, if it were just you, I'd say whatever you want to do. Um, I think I have probably something to do. So therefore, I'm going. And therefore, I'm going to whine about it. Um, no, I don't know. I, I, I don't I don't have strong feelings. We can ship it now. Um, or, all right. You know. Let's do it on the first. Um, and I'll give you all the information you need so you can write your blog entry between now and then. Um, so you can pre-post it or whatever. Pre yeah. Pre-draft, whatever it is. Draft it and post it in the future. However you want to do that. Because um, I'm, I'm expecting I'm going to have some time on the first just to breathe a little bit, so that'll allow me to do all the final pushing things around and such. such. Um, so we'll do it on the first. Bob's right. Okay. If you have this, want this bug fixed now, by, by all means, get it now. Um, we're just going to send all the, the noise out on the first um, to get all the people that don't track the project closely um, and all that kind of good stuff. But it will be this build unless something happens in the next, you know, over Christmas and someone finds a problem with it. Um, but I... I supremely hope that does not happen um, and yeah so we'll do it on the first just call it good um, push all the blog entries and all the final bits and all that kind of good stuff all right cool uh, that's, that's what we're gonna do um, for no other reason than to maintain our our goofy affini uh, uh, affinity for releasing on holidays well, not like December has a lack of holidays. Yeah, but I don't really want to do it on Christmas because that's harder. There's more people around. All my people are leaving by the first, so um, I'll be like, it'll be quiet. Um, and I don't drink <laughs> into the wee hours of, you know, I'm lucky if I get to stay up that late. Um, anyway, questions, comments, other things that people want to talk about um, in the Wix tool set and things that are going on and what we're doing. Um, I expect big things from Wix 4 over the holiday. Um, if you've been watching some branches, Bob and I have been doing um, some work there, um, trying to like shore up all the new good stuff, and I'm hoping that I'm into the setup project a bit next week, um, getting that put back together. So um, we'll have more to talk about that. Um, I don't know what else people want to talk about. Um, are we going to have a meeting on the 28th? I'm going to break this up, bring that up. Um, I'll be here. I could do the meeting. Does anybody else want to be here for the meeting? I'm going to be working anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have a PR out there. I'd like to know what bits to work on next week. 
break apart and get it manageable for Forex. Oh, you have a PR for that thing? <sighs> um, yeah, the bundle shared variables. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of, I kind of, can I delegate that to Sean as a thing? Maybe. <laughs> well, you've been in burn more than I have. Um, Delta this these bug fixes. Um, um, so, do you want to take a look at Jacob's thing and send any feedback and see if it looks good, or what feedback it needs? Because he says he's got the next couple of weeks to work on stuff. Yeah, I guess Burn is still living in the Wix 4 repo right now. Yep, Burn's all the same. Nothing's changed there. It certainly needs work. All right, so feedback on and direction for um, Jacob, I guess, is what he's looking for. And our new person, who I don't exactly know how to say name, Adonias? Adonias? Was writing a book, but I haven't seen it show up yet, so I'm kind of like filling time while there we go a PR I created to suppress hard leaks I want to talk about a PR I created creating an option to suppress hard links um, in Wix 4 Wix 3 well we're not taking changes there add option to suppress hard links Um, yeah, we won't take this in three. We could talk about taking it in four. Um, there's no motivation for it. Oh, useful build system. There's a file cache in place, so the output is without suppression. Hardly is saved. On it. That means that when clones rebuilt, the projected file will hard links be edited while well empoisoning their cache. Well, we're not doing these kind of changes in Wix 3, so we're not we're not taking new features and stuff in Wix 3. So we'll go in Wix 4. Um, there will be some time before that will happen. Um, a use case would be useful in a build system. There's a file cache in place, so the output is saved on it. That means when a component is rebuilt, the file projected by those hard links is edited as well, protecting it, poisoning the cache. So the rebuild is not overwriting the file then whenever your components rebuilt you're not like overwriting the file it's like opening and editing the file that's odd that a build system would edit a file I guess I guess I don't know I guess it depends on what it, the file is no actually that's that's pretty um, it's not uncommon uh, the problem with a hard link is that if you update the original, you know, the source of the link, mm -hmm. uh, all of the things that the link points to are, you know, now update that file. Yes, yes. Unless yes. you explicitly delete the file, you're not breaking the hard link. Okay. I, I think you could do it with create file, but I thought create file would delete the file and break the link. Uh, but not if you do not, like, not clear. Anything. Yeah. Okay. It's not. It's not clear. Um, I ran into this with uh, like Robocopy. If you uh, Robocopy, you know, source to destination, um, update like oh, with like Robocopy slash MIR to you know create a mirror image. Mm -hmm. um, those copies do not uh, break hard links. Um, so I, I guess it's an interesting question whether create file is sufficient. Um, or whether open existing, you know, <laughs> in Unix terms, is you know the inode still the same? Yeah, 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 no, I mean definitely that. I just thought when you said create new file, it would would do that, um, but I haven't verified. I guess. Um, so a switch to suppress hard links. Yeah. Um, 
to expose this generally. So the way to get around this in Wix 3 is just write your own file binder manager, binder file manager, right? And you can override the hard the copy mechanism, right? Do I remember that correctly? <laughs> yes, but it's amusing that you got the name wrong ah, um, as a wrong. sign of how annoying it is to actually create them. Um, but no, you're right. I mean, the truth is, yeah, you could you if I mean, unfortunately. It's not going to work if you already have one, um, because you can only have one, right? Mm, but um, if you if you have one, yeah, you have to teach it to blow up hard links, right? Right. Or to not do uh, links. Well, I was just thinking it'd be it would be an interesting general solution um, if you know. Oh, look, here's a binder file manager that does this. Oh, um, I see. And be able to stack them. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. No. 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 I'm I'm there. I'm there. I'm just. Um, for anyone else who needs this issue, it's everyone needs to create one of these. Um, but yeah, that, no, that would work. That would work. You just have to. You I know, mean, that's the workaround with three while you're waiting. Is you know, and whether we take this in form, just trying to reduce the number of switches we have um, for cases that aren't just common. Um, so. Um, we should open an issue on this and discuss it. I don't know. Do we want to do this in four? I need to go back and review all the switches that are going to be available in four to remember. Um, yeah, so Adonis, given that we're not taking changes in Wix 3, the fix now is the the fix in three is create your own binder file. file by, uh, what is it? Finder file manager. Thank you. That's what I was trying to say, but I couldn't. <laughs> for what, it will not come out today. Binder I've been file working manager. on that recently. It's the only way I know. Yeah, so you just can create your own binder file manager and take over how the files get copied instead of the default one in the Wix tool set, which will attempt a hard link because that is much more efficient given the large amounts of files that get copied. And then you can do really intelligent things like, oh, this file's in our cache, so don't hard link this, or this file's not in our cache, so go ahead and hard link it, and so on and so forth. So you can generally be smart about all the different parts of it. Or um, just always copy. Or always, that's well, yeah. safer. Um, it, it is an interesting uh, question on four. Um, part of me wants to say that we should have some something there because you know, we're essentially trying to pre-optimize, uh, and there are environments where that's not, you know, always going to work. Um, yeah, well, maybe we should, you know, it's possible we could just make 4 a little smarter, because 4 work, work correctly, if you want to use that word, um, using um, the OBJ folder now. Um, True. Work correctly using the OBJ folder, and so hard linking from there to the... Um, bin folder, uh, yep. I forgot whatever it's called, output folder, I guess. Output, it's yeah. Um, is a good thing, and we could be probably smarter where we're like, look, we won't hard link outside of the OBJ folder, because chances are if you're referring to a file that you didn't build, then you might not want to hard link it, right? Yeah. Um, if that Although, happens. that's probably where the, most of the benefit comes from, though, unfortunately. No, most of the benefit comes from not moving tabs around. That's why we start because oh. moving the cabs is the worst part of it, and we build the cabs. Okay. So that's yeah. where the big win is. Copying, you know, if you refer to a bunch of loose external files, uh, then we're going to copy those, right? Interesting. Um, okay. That that almost makes sense to me, but anyway, um, I think we should have an issue open on this, and we should discuss it and talk about how we want to go forth and implement it. I'm not sure that a um, just an overall command line switch is the way to do it, um, with always the option that you can write your own by your file manager and override the behavior that Wix has for that anyway. But actually, I'm wondering now if it, so, so another reason to discuss it is it might prompt us to go look up if there's a way on, you know, all of our file I.O. to do the right switch so that hard links would not get, you know, magically updated. Certainly in our code, we need to make sure that works, which is why I thought this just worked, because yeah. the tab cache does the right thing right now, I thought, and I'm pretty certain it does not delete the file before it creates the cab, but <laughs> I could be wrong about all of that, right? And it, it isn't working the way I think it does. Um, and it could also be a difference between, you know, the cab 
API and you know, manage code file IO. True, although we've overridden all the cab IO to, oh, that's uh, true. to our create files. So in, in the end, it's create file, the Win32 call, as, as far as yeah. I know. But you know, I'm I'm now you know <laughs> it's like all right. Well, yeah, it's it, it's well, worth looking at. Go double check that my memory yeah. is correct on all of this. So yeah. um, yeah. So uh, Adonis would be good to open a new issue uh, to track this thing um, so we can come to you know some idea of what we really want to do. But the fix in three is going to be create your own binder file manager because we're not taking these kind of changes in three fourteen, um, and then we could talk about. You know the correct fix in four, particularly if it is one of these. You have a file cache somewhere that's outside of the intermediate folder. If that solves the problem, then hey, that makes kind of makes sense and yada yada yada. Um, so we should have that conversation um, around that issue there. Did that make sense in the end? I'm kind of wandering today. It makes sense to me, but All right. that's not a good sign. <laughs> Bob and I are slightly drift compatible right now. Um, not perfectly. The robot is kind of flailing all over the place, but we're getting somewhere. Um, um, yeah. All right. Anything else? Anything else people have? I think I heard a positive. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's a good discussion. It's an interesting thing to consider that I'm surprised is a problem but something's wrong. Um, all right, so I think we've uh, discussed that there will be a needing a meeting. We will ha be needing a meeting um, on the 28th, so I will go ahead and have that scheduled correctly. So we'll talk about things for people who are here on the 28th, um, in two weeks, basically. Um, and a few days after that, then we will do the final preparation for all of the pushing of bits around in circles to get them loaded up to the world and um, announced to everybody that, hey, this happened. Happy 2018. Here's a new security fix from the West tool set. Cool. Works for me. Boo. <laughs> Sound like boo from Sean. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> boo. All right. It is not Halloween. Okay. 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 Um, on that note, I think I'm done. It sounds like you guys aren't asking any questions, so we're going to call it good. Two weeks from now, we'll have another meeting. And until then, you guys take it easy. Bye. Bye. Bye.